hace más todo, toda la semana. Todo el día creo que ha estado afuera él. Hello, guys. Hey, teacher, how are you, man? Hello, well, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Hola. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> welcome. Good evening, teacher. No lo veo. <laughs> welcome, welcome. No vemos al fantasma de la fuerza. Ya conectó. No veo, no veo el teacher. Ya está hablando, pero no ha puesto la cámara. Ah. ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla? Are yeah. you ready? Sí, ahí en curso me he metido yeah, y ready. cabal, justo ahí donde le estás dando. ¿Cuántos estamos ya? Ah. A ver si no te compartiendo. Bien, ya pantalla. estamos varios, empecemos entonces. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Cantamos el ABC. Oh, that's right. ABCs. We're going to do a review. In this class, we're going to learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen, you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like for you to listen to a quick audio program and repeat. It's recommended that you practice as many times as necessary. Ten at least. Everybody repeat. And make sure that repeat, you are pronouncing correctly. Please. Okay. Listen and practice. A. 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 C. 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 E. 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 F what I would like to do is practice expressing your name and spell it out. For example, my name is Joe. That's J O E. And let me go ahead and write that. All right, let me have one volunteer. Oh, the alphabet. That's right. Mm. Me. All right. How do you spell your name? H E C T O R. Excellent. How do you spell your last name? La A como se pronuncia en inglés, Helen. La A como se pronuncia en inglés. Hey. Sorry, sorry. B. Tenga su micrófono en silencio, por favor. Hector. Hello. 
Hello, Hector. Take off the mute. Okay, my last name. B I L L E D A. Excellent. That is correct. Select somebody. Mm. Let me see. Um, Cesar Villalta. Ask the question. How do you spell your last name, your name? My name is. Cesar Villalta, how do you spell your name? Spell. Hello, good night. Uh, my name is Cesar. Uh, C. I is. I air. All right. The next question How do you spell your last name? Okay. Hector, ask the question. And it says, Abiata, how do you spell your last name? Okay. B I L L I L T A. Very good. Now, Cesar, select somebody. Okay. Andrea Galvez. Ask Andrea the question. Julie, uh, uh, this bit. How do you spell your name? Repeat. Repeat, please. How do you spell your name? How do you spell name? Um, Andrea, A N D R E I. A. A. Pardon. <laughs> Sorry. How do you spell your last name? Ask the question. How do you spell um, last name? No, Cesar le tiene que preguntar a usted. Oh, okay. And repeat, please. How do you spell your last name? Uh, how do you spell name? Andrea? Galvez. D A L B E C. Galvez. Excellent. Very good. Well, I hope that's. All right. So now we're going to go ahead. Does anybody have any questions related to this topic? No. No. Okay. So we're going to look at spelling names. Listen, please. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. OK, 
OK. Thank you. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No. My name is spelled S-A-R-A. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Yes. It's S-A-R-A. -A. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S-T-E-V. -V. No. It's spelled S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Oh, excuse me. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. That's right. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E? -E? No, it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Oh, so it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. All right. So we are going to move on to the next one, which is questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M, for the pronouns you, we and they you're going to use are and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller you can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. We're going to say uh, Mario, that's his name. Um, he, there we're going to 
to say he is um, a mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, So we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, Am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am. I an English teacher. All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say is he. Mario, okay, is he a mechanic, is, is he at work? Are they my co-workers? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. All right. Let me have a, a volunteer give me an example. Hector. Hi. 
Can you give me an example? Um, um, I am an English student. Uh, and the question is, am I an English student? Very good. That's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to give me five examples here on the discussion forum. Five WH questions and five B verb questions. And then we're going to look at this section right here. Complete the conversation by filling in the blanks. For example, number one, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No. Um. Very good. Um. I'm excellent. I'm. You're going to look at exercise two three, four, five, and six. You are going to complete all the sentences with the B verb. 1.10. That's right. This is section 1.10. You will have five minutes five minutes are you ready yes okay five minutes Hola. Hi, Herson. Hola, este, vamos a trabajar en... In the platform. The first one is, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No. I am not. Sería la respuesta. ¿Cómo? No entiendo. Vaya, que aquí este está poniendo... Ah, bien, así es, cabal. Eh, según el uso del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces aquí dice, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? Le está preguntando, ¿eres tú Steven Carson? Entonces aquí contesta, no, yo no soy, ¿verdad? Ah, ya, es que a mí se me dificulta porque solo estoy en el teléfono. Ah, yo también aquí estoy en el teléfono, ¿qué va? Vaya, pero ahí se que la, la, la plataforma. Ajá, 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 la primera es no, I am not. Ajá. Voy a entrar a la plataforma. Dale, para poderlo ver bien. Steven. Steven, you are, you are, you are, creo que es esta. A ver. Steven. Permítame. Dale, no tengas pena. Tengo problemas con uno aquí. You are. Steven, you are over there. Steven. Joder, eso ya quiero ver. ¿Está? ¿Por cuál vas ahorita? Por la... Ah, come Comencemos de la primera para que vaya vos ahí también. Ajá. Vaya, vaya la, la primera, excuse me. Are... Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No, I am not. I Ajá. am es la respuesta. La segunda, my name. La is... second one, my, my name is David Medina. Is. Ajá, sería is. 
Sí. La segunda, la, digo, la, la tercera es ajá, Steven. One. Steven, you are there. Para mí sería you are there, fíjate. You are... Porque dice over there. Sí. Ajá, over there, ajá. Steven, you are over there. Steven, are... Steven. Porque no es pregunta, va. Si la pregunta sería Steven, no. are you over there? Ajá, Pero pregunta es... no es... Es oración. No lleva el sí. Sí. Claro, ¿verdad? Ya la vamos a preguntar al chichero esta porque no me la no me la acepta. Vaya, dejamos esa. Ahora the, yes, the, uh, the are, fourth one is Are, are you, you Steven? Carson? Ahí es en pregunta, cabal. Are you Steven Carson? Ok. Y mm -hmm. the fifth one, five one is Hi. I am, sería cabal. I Um, I, Nicole Johnson. Quiero ver si está buena. Dice ah, hola. Yes. Hola. Yes. Hi. Uh -huh. Dice hola. Yo soy Sería... Nicole Johnson. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am, ¿verdad? Sí. Hi, I, am. I am Nicole Johnson. Ok. Uh -huh. Steven. Y la última, Steven. Aquí sería it nice to meet is. You. Creo yo. It is. Creo que es it is. Te quiero ver. It. Is. Aquí sí no estoy seguro. Está ah, bien, it is, es, it is. Es que cuando uno se, yeah. se, se dice, it's nice to meet you, dice uno. It's, cuando uh -huh. está presentando, ¿va? es un gusto conocerte, va. Pero no yeah. es de persona, sino que es prácticamente con, con el it, en este caso. It's nice to meet you. La tres, en las tres estamos, ¿verdad? En las tres se nos quedó, ¿verdad? Sí, en las tres estamos fritos. <risa> ok, <risa> aquí dice... Steven, you are over there. Para mí es así. Steven, you are over there. You are over there. Over. O porque I am over there, ya la probé y no, 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 me, furló, no me furló. Porque como pregunta, no creo que sea. Quiero ver. No, you? no, porque si fuera pregunta tuviera el signo y no, no sí, lo tiene. No, no lo tiene, cabrón. Este. Yo, para mí es you are over there. Porque over three dice por ahí, algo así significa, ¿verdad? Sí, por ahí, por ahí. Ajá. Entonces. Yo ayudarle, pues, pero no. Me... Ajá, está raro. Steven, you are over to... Steven, tú estás por allí, ¿verdad? O tú estás allí. I am tampoco no es. No. no pero le vamos a preguntar al teacher. Ya lo matamos ya. <ríe> Está rarito. Sí. Steven. Tú po, para, para mí es Steven, you. Ajá. Ajá. O it. O Steven. it. Quiero ver. It is. Pero no creo, no debería de ser así. No. no, no. Sé. O será con el apóstrofe, quizás. Yo, el apóstrofe. Yo. You. you are, creo que es. Es que you are, tengo yo, pero no me funciona. No, 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 que... no te lo da correcto. Ajá, pero con... es que no sé si lleva el apóstrofe. He is a doctor, igual que usted. <risa> <risa> She is Sofía. We are friends, they are students. Ah, perfecto. Ella va a acabar la sesión, ¿verdad? Sí, ya casi. Hola, hola. All right, let me have a volunteer, number two. My name is number three. Steven is number four. Okay, for our number. Five. 
I am. Number six. It is. Oh, uh, those are right like that because I didn't um put the the space. All right. Now we're going to look at 1.11. Looking at phone numbers. Phone numbers right now. We're going to look at phone numbers. Teacher, I don't listen in. We can listen. Five, five. Thank you, listen. Five. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from one through ten. Let's listen and repeat. Zero. O. Oh. One. Two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Anna Silva's home phone number is 914-555-2714. Anna Silva's cell phone number is 845 Five 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 one zero oh, two three, and you get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five 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 eight eight nine three. James Lang home phone number is six zero oh, four five five five. 2714. James Lang's cell phone number is 250 555 1023. 
Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is 713-695-3539. My cell phone number is, my wife's cell phone number is. You should give at least 10 examples and share them in our discussion forums. All right, now what you are going to do is you are going to write at least 10 phone numbers here in the discussion forum. In pairs, you will have five minutes Ready, let's go. ¿Qué hacer? Vamos a ver si es cierto. Yo, yo, yo no logré ver porque se me estaba trabando. Según medio leí, es que en lo de discusión poner el número de teléfono, no sé qué. El número 7434 El mío. Yo voy a empezar por el mío. Ah, ahorita continúo yo. Ok. My cell phone number is 7394553. Oh. Okay. My daughter's cell phone number is 7935215. Okay. My sister number is seven four three nine six six three four. Okay. My father's cell phone number is six three one eight two five one seven. Okay. My grandma's mother number is six seven nine eight six three four five. My sister's home phone number is two two five six one five seven six. Okay, my dad's number is seven seven six five four three six nine. My work phone number is two two seven seven two eight six three. Okay, my mom's number is seven nine nine oh 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 six five my brother's work phone number is two two five oh 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 okay my boyfriend number is six three nine four six two five oh my cousin's home phone number is two six three four oh one seven eight okay my brother number is seven three four six nine nine 
Eight. Oh. My uncle's work phone number is two two seven three five zero oh, six three. My cousin number is six six seven eight nine nine zero oh, zero. Oh. My aunt's home phone number is two four three six eight one zero oh, nine. Okay. My uncle uncle's number is six seven eight six eight six seven nine. My boss cell phone number is seven six eight seven one two three four. Okay, my grandfather numbers is um seven five six two nine two eight oh. My father's cell phone number is six zero zero six two one seven eight. Okay. Aquí ya tenemos las 10. <laughs> sí, ya las tenemos. Estamos okay. completos entonces. A esperar entonces. Welcome back. Are you ready? We're ready. All right. Ready. Excellent. Now we're going to look at knowledge check. Listen, please. Listen, please. Listen, 
Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. All right. So on this activity, you're going to listen to the conversation and you're going to write the phone number that you hear. For example, David Medina's phone number is 212-555. 1937. So you're going to write the phone number that you hear. You will have five minutes. Five minutes mm -hmm. in pairs. Ay. Según lo que entendí, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, eh, si quiere, el, el que ya creamos o, o decimos otro. Como se guste. Bueno, si quiere, me dice primero, eh, my number phone, eh, permítanme, my phone number is, y yo lo voy a anotar nuevamente porque aquí lo fui tachando, entonces ya ni sé cuál es el suyo, uh -huh. y, o creo okay. un número usted, y luego yo lo voy a presentar con su número de teléfono. Ok. Uh, my phone number is seven eight five three one eight three five. Se lo voy a repetir ocho, perdón, siete ocho cinco tres uno ocho tres cinco. Así es. Bueno, entonces okay. ahora lo voy a presentar y luego yo la presento a usted. My phone okay. number is seven seven nine nine eight. Six, eight, three. Okay. Setenta y siete, noventa y nueve, ochenta y seis, ochenta y tres. Correcto. Ahora yo la voy a presentar. Okay. Sería Alison Bernal, ¿verdad? Sí. Alison Bernal, eh, phone number is seven, eight, five, three, one, eight, three, five. Yes. Ahora yo la presento a usted, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Eh, Delmi Vázquez, phone number is 77998683. Correcto. ¿Seguimos con los mismos sí. o creamos otros? Si gusta, creemos otros para practicar bueno, con más números. Bueno. Ya lo tengo. Ok, yo igual. Me voy a presentar con el mío, el eh, nuevo número que he creado. Luego lo anota y usted me presenta eh, después. My phone number sí, is eh, 6830583. Um, perdón, me dijo 6. Lo repito. Sí, por favor. 6. Sí, es que le cambié. Ya me aburrí del 7, entonces le coloqué 6. Sí, entonces. Está bien. Six eight three zero five eight three three. Okay. Este sesenta y ocho treinta cincuenta y ocho treinta y tres. Correcto. Ahora me dice okay. el suyo. Okay. My phone number is two one four zero seven eight nine six. Me dijo eh, el primero, 
no le escuché bien, disculpe. Tú. Ah, entonces sí, un número de casa me dijo. Ajá. Sí. Ah, bueno, ah, bueno. Entonces, ahora la presento. Bueno, usted me va a presentar si quiere y luego yo. Uy, espérame que se me cayó el teléfono. Bueno. Uh -huh. Este, sí, si sí, gusta, eh, como yo la presento primero. Ajá. Ok, vaya. Eh, Delmi Vázquez, phone number is 6830-5800. Bueno, ahora voy yo. Alison Bernal, phone number is 21407896. Así es. Sí. Bueno, ahora usted. Ok. Delmi Vázquez, phone number is 68305833. Correcto. Eh, Alison, Bern Alison Bernal, Phone number is 21407896. Sí. Sí, así es. Bueno. Sí. Ahora inventamos otro, o seguimos con Bueno, esto? está bien. Ahorita. Ahora le voy a dar una de okay. casa, ya me dio una idea, fíjese. Ajá. Uh Ya lo tengo. Ok. Ya igual. Bueno. ¿Quién lo dice primero? ¿Te gusta usted? Ah, bueno. My phone number is 2440831. Ok. Um, me dijo 2400831. Eh, Me comí uno, ¿verdad? Sí, repítame sí. si quieres. O lo repito yo sí. mejor. Sí, si sí, gusta. Sí. Ah, bueno. My phone number is 2440831. Mm. Ok. 2440831. Correcto. Sí. Ahora sí. la escucho. Ok. Uh, my phone number is two three seven zero eight two one nine. Eh, dos, bueno, veintitrés setenta ochenta y dos diecinueve. Sí. Sí. Yes, bueno, yes. ahora la voy a presentar. Sí. Alison Bernal, yeah. eh, phone number is two three. 708219. Sí. Uh -huh. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. No, me teacher, me, me teacher. Okay, Daniel. Uh huh. And another volunteer. Me. Okay, Hector. Okay. One, two, three, action. What is the question, teacher? What's your phone number? Okay. okay. I ask, I ask uh, to Hector. That's right. Okay, Hector, what you, what's your phone number? And my phone number is seven. <laughs> O four O seven six seven six. Okay, Hector. Mm. And now Daniel, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. And Daniel, what is your phone number? My phone number is eight five six three nine three five. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay, sir. Perfect. Now let me have Diana Guadalupe and okay. Diana Melissa. Okay. Um, what's your phone number? If my cell phone number is six four two one six seven five zero one. Okay. Yeah. What is your number? Phone my number. number. Is, my phone number is seven eight six one one zero oh, six five. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let me have Leon and Guillermo. Ask the question, what's your phone number? Okay. All right, guys. This is your homework for tomorrow. Complete. Se me olvidó pasar lista. Ah, uh, no, ya hice captura de pantalla. So, no tengo que estar haciendo listas. Como que si estoy en kinder. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, okay, teacher. Yeah, faster, faster. Me siento ridículo. Okay, so <laughs> by the end of this class, yeah, their bags. So, teacher, mm -hmm. se encuentra bien, teacher, porque le hemos estado buscando eh, yeah. en el chat, pero no, no sabemos si está bien de salud o algo. Yeah, eh, no, nah, me, my garganta, mi garganta, siento que my, my throat hurts. Eh, estoy trabajando todo el día, so, uh, Okay, my throat hurts, but it's all right. All right, see you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy. Good night. Bye. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Thank bye. You. Bye. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night, everybody.